Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I woke up this morning, early in the morning before our daylight, and it was the strangest thing. Uh, there were, I turned on the light and I could see shapes in the room, uh, transparent shapes like, like, like this, the water spirits that you see rippling in the water, the, the 4D uh, spirits that, that invigorate the water in little streams and like that. And, uh, but it was in the air of the room. I could see shapes like, um, I thought they might be astral forms of people and they were packed in so solid it was like it was like sardines in a can except the can was my room and this, and the astral forms were alive and moving around like jumbling all together like in a subway when the subway is crammed full and one more person tries to get in and they say please just let me in here and like that and they all get stuck together in the middle you know standing room only it was like that and and that was not the only thing my cat was acting really peculiar and uh and i after a while i really peculiar and after a while i got the feeling there was a shape shifter in the room i don't know much about shape shifting but it seemed like somebody had shifted into the shape of my cat or my cat was like inhabited by something and so i took my cat gently out <laughs> took her out into the living room and put her on the couch so then i i thought i'll lie down i'll get a little more sh shut eye and then I could feel this, this, this astral being, non-human. It was like a little demon or something. And it was like lying on my stomach, right? My, my least respected uh, portion of my anatomy. And then, it, and then I thought, I'll go out and get some black, um, is he called black tourmaline? That I had out, I had been putting it out for a sun bath the previous day. So it was chock full of good uh, clarifying energy for the aura. So I went out and I, I got some and I put it on, put it in a plastic bag on my tummy. And then I could, I heard this this voice from the same little being. It was saying, "No, no, I'll go lie here." And then it, it lay down on my chest, you know. So <laughs> I thought maybe this is a good time to get up and meditate, right? <laughs> so I sat up to meditate. Now let's see what else happened. So there was the people. There was the shape shifter. There was um. There was a little being, the little, like, demon dude. Didn't seem real scary, uh, but, but an unwelcome guest, you know. So then I sat up, and I was meditating, and I thought, geez, I better just get up. I just, I don't know what to make of all this, you know. It's, um, it, it comes on the heels of the M9 flare that happened last night, and I just think there's a lot of astral commotion, like ghosts, jostling around and all the astral beings helter-skelter flying about and and people in astral form at night after they fall asleep there the body is very uneasy because of these 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 changes that happen uh, with the solar flares and the CMEs and the CIRs and so forth and uh, I think that leads to unconscious astral travel at night I don't really know the answer to this thing. It's a new experience for me, so I just thought I'd pass it on in case um, in case anybody else has experienced anything that unusual. And just I had one other thing to, to talk about, to, to talk about the sacred masculine, because it seems to me like now is the time. I'm reminded how much noise there is in the city. It's like there are always cars going by and planes going overhead and people walking by talking. And it's kind of hard to imagine how quiet it is in the country compared to the city. It's kind of hard to, to know how much, how much noise, background noise we're putting up with in the city until we go out and try life in the country or the desert or the mountains. It's really different, really much more relaxing for the soul. So, now with regard to the sacred masculine, it seems to me like the time is finally arriving on earth when men are in a position to, to deal with the concept of change 
from the Atlantean Age ideals of masculinity to the sacred masculine. And I foresee that this is their journey, not a journey that women can help them with. They solely, individually, and as, as small groups and large groups will determine the outcome. I have my prayers for them because I foresee the great differences between the two ways of being. But I have the utmost confidence that with the help of the incoming light and their own higher selves, they will come to wonderful realizations about um, expanded ways of being. And that very soon, very shortly. So now to put the shoe on a different foot, I'd like to talk a little bit about sacred feminine. Um, you know, one of the things that's, that's falling right now is the notion that, that um, the ability to teach, uh, the, the, the quality of wisdom belongs to men alone. Now, back in the Lemurian age, there were, it went a little too far to the other end, I hear. And there were women who were very wise and respected in heads of their communities who assumed positions of power and kind of aced men out of the position of power situation. And so now we seem to have the exact opposite has happened. Mostly men in control of everything. And an expectation that men will rule and that men will, um, men will be looked up to for wisdom and uh, power, you know, and um, and just I'm here to to say that that the new age that's dawning will be a cooperative relationship between men and women, and between the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine. And I'm also here to say that I, as a woman and a teacher, a spiritual teacher. am as great a human being and a spiritual teacher as any man on earth and that all women are, are, this, are as I am. We all have that quality of wisdom, of spirituality, of sacredness. So that's just my thought for today. That it's a uh, it's a quality that every soul has. And no matter what you may hear to the contrary, ladies, it's our quality as well as that of men. And I look forward to what men decide as to their own soul qualities, as to the expansiveness of their higher selves. It's going to be an interesting journey, this equinox and this solstice and the upcoming equinox. So everybody take care. I wish you the very best. Godspeed in your own self-realization. Godspeed to the ladies in self-esteem and, and wisdom and knowingness, prophecy, spiritual upliftment of humankind. <laughs>